so we're going to stay on the Kellogg Biological Station property. We're heading out to our main research site. Our ideas about perennial wheat are that um, we want to get to a management system, a crop system that looks and, and functions a little bit more like a natural ecosystem that you'd see around here. So for example, if we weren't growing crops, you'd probably see uh, some sort of prairie and then a forest through time. And that ecosystem uh, functions on its own without management. And so we figure if those plants are mostly perennial, yet most of our crop plants are annual, so the idea would be maybe a perennial plant would help us get a little bit closer to the natural ecosystem that would be occurring here. Let's step through here. In 2007, we uh, started working with uh, this perennial wheat uh, on a little bit slightly bigger scale, so we were able to put it into our long-term organic trial. We see it as a brand new way that organic farmers and any farmer interested in sustainability could uh, grow crops without having uh, to worry about replanting every year. And so we can protect the soil for three or four years. We're not sure quite how long uh, this perennial can keep coming back, but so far so good. As we're really thrilled uh, that the uh, USDA uh, organic research um, project has uh, just informed us that our grant proposal um, was funded and so this will give us um, about a million dollars over the next four years to try and develop this new experimental crop for Michigan and the upper Midwest organic farmers and uh, other farmers will benefit from this as well. One of my students uh, has already uh, tried out chocolate chip cookies and we compared them with uh, regular annual wheat and this perennial wheat and uh, I have to say that they were uh, equally preferred. Some people like the slightly nuttier taste of the perennial weed, and some people like the traditional. It's, to me, one of the first new ways to do farming in decades that might actually uh, provide a whole new option for farmers. Um, farmers are always looking for ways to protect their ground and pass it on to the next generation, and this might give them a new tool.